Hi everyone. Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Miss Gerbler, an art teacher from Missouri. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hello, my name is Miss Gerbler. I am an elementary art teacher from Missouri and I teach at Rawls County Elementary. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cupcake sculpture inspired by the artist Wayne Thibault. So let's go ahead and get started. These are the supplies that you're going to need. Shaving cream, liquid watercolor or food coloring, a bowl, a spoon, a pair of scissors, a bottle of glue, a few cupcake liners, three paper towels, and a stapler. First thing I'm doing is mixing my shaving cream and my glue together. So mix equal parts of glue and shaving cream. You won't need too much, just a little to cover your cupcake. I'm stirring those up and I'm going to add my liquid watercolor. But if you do not have liquid watercolor, you can always use food coloring. Now I'm stirring that up and as you can see, it's a nice purple color. I'm going to create the base for my cupcake. So I'm going to take a couple of cupcake liners and I'm going to staple them together just to make it a little stronger. And then I'm going to wad up three paper towels. My first one, I'm just going to wad the ball and then cover it with my second one. And then for my third one, I'm just going to wrap it really nice and tight and kind of smooth it out, tuck the ends under. Now I'm going to take my bottle of glue and add some glue to the bottom of my cupcake liners so that I can glue my paper towels to it. And then you're just going to push that down and set it aside so it can dry. Now is the fun part, adding the icing to your cupcake. So you're just going to spoon a couple of spoonfuls of your icing or your glue and shaving cream onto your cupcake, your cupcake base, and you're just going to smooth it out however you want. I'm making sure I'm kind of pushing that um, icing to the edge so that everything sticks together. Now it's time to decorate. So I'm using some scrap paper and a few sequins and beads. So just add whatever you want to your cupcake to decorate it and make it look lovely. Now I'm taking my cupcake to the window to dry. And that's it. Once you are done, you will have a lovely cupcake that you can smell, look at, and admire for years to come. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun and good luck with your cupcake.